I'm not going to be quiet any longer. Um, this started a day or two after the election in 2008, and it went just out of control after that. It wasn't until October 1st of 2009 when I received a message from one of the minions of the then district attorney's office that if I did not resign my bench a week later, they were going to take my property and my children and my reputation and law license and put me in prison for a very long time. When the question was asked, what did I do? The answer was, you know what you did. And you know what? I know what I did. I ran against a sitting district judge of Collin County. It had never been done in the history of this county, and it upset the wrong people, apparently. And I was raised to stand up to bullies. I will not stop. Um, I could not give in. They offered me a deal right before trial that if I just resigned, they would drop everything, basically. That was not an option. This was fabricated from the beginning. I am not ashamed or embarrassed. I have nothing to be ashamed about. I am not going away. I didn't give up then. I'm not giving up now. This result today is supposed to put her back where she was before the convictions, okay? Which means she was a sitting district judge at the time. Part of the, when she got convicted, a condition of probation was that she had to resign her bench. That's all void. Her salary, her money that she could have been making over the last seven years. These are all the things that are going to go if we decide to do, well, I'm already recommending a malicious prosecution suit. Again, we are not going to let the people of Collin County, the dirty politics that still goes on in this county today, they're going to be held accountable.